Hi everybody, Will Alexander from Will Alexander's Dog Show Tips. This week on the interview chair we have Leslie Potts. You know this is going to be a good interview. Hi everybody! Today at the show, we in the interview chair. We have none other than Leslie Potts. Hi, Les. How are you? Hi, Will. How you doing? I'm good. It's great to see you. I haven't seen you in ages. I haven't seen you in ages. I almost said something rude just then. I haven't felt you in ages, eh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop, William. Don't stop. <laughs> okay, we have to get serious here. This is a serious show. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I know. I understand that. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Tell me how you got involved in dogs, but tell me how old you were first before you, before you start. How old you? I was born practically in the kennel. I mean, almost born in the kennel. Um, I went a little bit early and my mother was in the kennel. So um, I come from the northeast of England, a little town called Cramlington. And my mother's a judge and a breeder. And um, we started in Collies and Shelfies. And she was very good friends with Tom Purvis and Alma Robinson, Bobby James, Ann Knight, um, Reg Gadsden. So I grew up around Joe Braddon, all of those people wow. in championship shows. And I got my first whippet um, from Ann Knight. She came on a train from Leeds in a little wooden box. And there was a note attached to it that just said, if you don't like it, put it on the next train back. <laughs> Well, we opened it up, and there she was, a little fawn and white, eight-week-old whippet puppy with giant black eyes, and that was it. That started us in whippets, and slowly but surely, no more Shelties and Collies, and we were overrun with whippets. So, and it's still my passion today. I love my whippets. So, how old were you when you switched to whippets then? Seven. Seven, Seven years old. And I'm not telling you how old I am now. Well, seven minus 29 years. You lost. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean it that long. <laughs> um, so you've got the whippets now. Tell me about that. What's, what, what happened after that? You started whippets. You've got the one. Um, you know, as I said, my mother was always really active at the shows and socially. It was all her life was dogs and dog people. Um, so obviously I started to go to the shows. And um, we used to go on the dog buses. You used to book a seat for yourself and your dog. Wow. And you'd get up in the middle of the night and meet them at a service area. And there'd be Great Danes in the back. And there'd be Daxons up front, depending on which day you were going to the championship show. That's or I used to go with a good friend of my mother's, Alan Freethy. And we, he had Afghans. And um, he was an amazing, amazing guy. But he worked for a dry cleaners. So when you went in Alan's van, you were pretty compromised by the time you got to the show from the chemicals in the van. <laughs> so, and the whippets were pretty compromised too. But um, it was always a lot of fun. And I did that until I was 16. I was fairly successful in juniors. I won at Richmond one year. I put a reserve ticket on my mother's Denorsi bitch, which was Jack Pedden and um, Jack Nichols co-bred her. She was from an international champion. Denorsi quick match at Glenn Burby, who was a beautiful bitch. So I've been really fortunate to be around some really great kennels when the, you know we had big breeding kennels and amazing dog people. I really have. So, and then I came here in 1981 um, to work for then? Sporting Fields. I was 16. <laughs> I graduated high school on a Tuesday, and I got on the plane on a Thursday wow. with 60 bucks in a suitcase. Oh, my. <laughs> that one-way ticket. And the butler picked me up at Philadelphia International Airport from Sporting Fields Kennels from Jim and Donnie Butt. And he drove me out to the Pennsylvania Turnpike where I hopped on their Bluebird dog bus full of whippets and we went to a dog show. Right away. Into the right away. And Tipton was judging and I put a five-point major on a whippet. 
And I still remember the Whippet's name, Usher Sunkissed, Sunny. <laughs> that was my first weekend at dog shows in the States. The only problem was I didn't know how to eat anything. I didn't know what any of the food was. Oh, what did you I just